Huh? I did. Why you ain't taking no aspirin? I don't like taking medicine like that. Well, you sitting there with a headache, and you don't want to take no medicine? I almost OD'd on, at um, Yeah. Well, damn. We don't need you to OD on that, man. Mm -mm. Yeah. So you just gonna power through it, huh? Yes. <laughs> you just gonna power through this headache. You said. You said. You said this headache ain't gonna beat me today, huh? No, it's not. Where are you at, though? Austin. Where? Austin. Austin. Mableton or whatever. Oh, okay. All you have to do is stay a minute, just stay. It's time. The clock is ticking, so stay. All you have to do is stay. So, introduce yourself. Hey, y'all. It's me, Cambria. Hey, y'all. This is my uh, co host for the Make the Call series female aspect of the series so cambria man how you you say you're going to power through the day so where where are you uh, you you at the shipper receiver what what, what what we doing yeah i'm at the i'm at the shipper right now getting loaded um also you know working my business as well since i am a business owner oh um, oh okay let the people know what you what what, what, what you do you I know you got that skinny brew going going on. So, yeah. talk talk to me Bad about burning coffee. Talk, talk talk to me about skinny brew, man. I'm I'm not hip to skinny brew. Like, what what is that? A coffee tea? What what is that? Skinny brew is a fat burning coffee that I promote. I freaking love it. Honestly, I was about to get ready to make me a cup because I have not had my cup this morning. Um. And I think that might be why I have a headache because I'm just not myself right now without my skinny brew. But could that headache could that headache be a hunger headache? Um. You know, I gotta get I gotta get me a fly squatter. That's that's what I gotta do. I don't. I'm, I no. As you know, I am. You know, currently. You know, trying to get rid of stress. So, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know, but um, the skinny brew basically it comes. Whew, it's amazing. It has no tropics in it. So basically, it will you know give you that mental focus throughout the day. Like, soldiers can't do that. Maxwell House can't do that. Starbucks can't do that. What Starbucks can't do that? No, Starbucks does not, Starbucks coffee does not give you mental focus and does not help you burn fat. Why? 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 Everybody is so fixated with with Starbucks. I I don't get it. I mean, I don't drink coffee from Starbucks anymore. Um, I used to. I used to be obsessed because Starbucks. I mean, I'm just gonna put it out there. I feel like Starbucks. How they make their coffee, I feel like it's a little bit of um, an illegal substance in there. <laughs> <laughs> because. Allegedly. Let, let's say allegedly. Allegedly. <laughs> allegedly. Yeah, we, we I, don't want to. We don't want to go on record saying that, you know, Starbucks put illegal substance in their coffee without. Well, without substantial proof. So, allegedly. Yes, allegedly. I think that they have some kind of illegal substance because if you drink, like, I, when I was drinking Starbucks heavily, I would be mad if I couldn't get Starbucks. My day would not go right. I would have a fit. No, I like nobody wanted no there was no one in this world that would want to be around me if I did not have my Starbucks. You know what? This this fly in my truck is getting on my last nerves, man. I, I don't even know how this fucking fly got in my damn truck, bro. I mean, sis. I I, I don't even know. 
how it got in here. It is so freaking irritating. But, you know, I had to fly in my truck before, and I had a hard time. Like, I'm actually driving. So I raised down the window so I could shush it out of the window, right? Tell me why this motherfucker is, like, has, like, like a mind of his own. Like, when I'm, I, I'm, I'm trying to shush it out of the window, it goes towards the window, and then it makes a U-turn and come right back in the truck. What the fuck, man? Have you had it? Oh, no, I, no, oh, no I'm going to give you a better one. <coughs> um, I had a fly. Fly had been following me. The fly literally followed me. It's because of that good perfume that you got on. That's why. <laughs> Anyhow, um, the fly followed me from Texas to about Alabama. God Thanks. damn it, man. You and it. I got tired of the fly. Like, he had just done... I hurt my last nerve. Just when he pulled my, he pulled my, the last string that was attached to the last nerve that I had for you. So uh-huh. I ended up getting mad. And when I said I got mad, I got real mad. So, you know, I let down the window. And I guess the fly said, well, let me leave you to see. So y'all know, fly. Before it left out the it window. Blew huh? out the window. I say it left a lasting reminder on you. You're gonna remember me, damn it. <laughs> Excuse me. Mm. Excuse me. Okay. I'm back. Like the damn fly kissed me before he left out the window. Mm. That's messed up. Alright, so Cambria, who are we calling today? We are going to call Golf Relay. Oh, Golf Relay. I heard a lot about them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're located. They got two. They got two locations. They got one in Mississippi and the other one is in Texas. I was about to say, I thought it was Memphis. Yeah, they got uh they got they got two of them. They got they they got two locations. So, I'm not sure um, where the orientation gonna be? I'm sure you're gonna ask all the good questions that. I mean, that golf relay might ask. be a little hard to crack. I don't know. Well, we'll 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 see. I mean, you know, they they got the contact. They said, please don't hesitate to reach out to our driver director. Um, off the website, his name is Thomas. With any questions you may have about driving opportunities available at Golf Relay. So I'm about to give you the phone number. Um, Golf Relay. Again, they're located out of uh, Texas, the phone, uh, Mississippi and Texas. The phone number is 833-288-4853, extension 85. Um, maybe, uh, maybe if we can't get a hold of the director, we could probably get a hold of somebody that can give us some information about a golf relay they they said they the best in class equipment excellent pay and miles and home time yeah we we really got to see about that miles and home time don't don't we cambria we we got to see about that all right so cambria Mm -hmm. uh are you ready for driver recruiting, press one. For corporate rec- Good morning. Thanks for calling Golf Relay. Samantha speaking recruiting. Good morning. You said, I'm sorry. Did you say your name was Amanda? Samantha. Oh, Samantha. I'm so sorry. Hey, Samantha. My, my name is Ashley, and I was calling because I've seen your truck pass by on the road, and I'm currently looking for a new company. And I've heard a lot of good things about you. Um, but, you know, I just wanted to figure it out for myself. So if I may, I would like to ask you 
a list of questions. That way I can dot my eyes across all of my teeth if I'm Yes, ma'am. Feel free to. I'm glad, you know, you, you decided to reach out to us. So we get a lot of calls all the time with just drivers seeing our trucks and just kind of checking us out, trying to figure out, you know, what we have to offer and all of that. So feel free to ask any questions you have. I'm, I'm not going to get upset or anything. <laughs> okay. Well, let's see. I have my little notepad right here. That way I won't forget a question. You know, I'm, I kind of forget things sometimes, but I didn't want to miss anything. I'm <laughs> see, I see we're okay. here. I, I like that already. I like that already. <laughs> I okay. literally have a little notebook right now, so I can have your. I have your name down. I'm like, okay, Miss Ashley is calling in. You know, she's looking for a new position. Well, like a new company right now. So let's see. So I mean, that's what I have right now too. So I get it. I'm gonna write everything down that we talk about, so I can always have it for my recollection. You know, if you ever call me back, I can go back and I'm like, okay, we already talked about these things. So I do the same. <laughs> understand? See, see, we're we're here. So we understand yes, ma'am. <laughs> we understand each other. So let's see. The first question. Um, could you give me some history on your company? Oh, sure, sure. So our company, um, Go Free Lane, we originated, I believe, back in 2010 um, by Doug Douglas Hyman. He's the owner of the company. He did create this um, and basically wanted to keep a family-oriented environment. So he was very involved up until recently. Um, he would just call and speak with every driver. I mean, everyone who would come in, he would welcome everyone. Um so that's kind of how it started. It was a very small company. We just started growing and expanding. So as of right now, we have about a 200 trucks, I believe. And we should be getting a couple more coming in this by the end of the year. Um, so we are growing pretty quickly. <laughs> um, but we basically just originated out in Clinton, Mississippi. Um, now we also have a yard over in Capel, Texas, which is kind of Dallas uh, metro area over there and right. another one over in DeSoto which is also in Texas um, so that's fairly new I think we acquired it about a month or two ago and we are still expanding um, we pretty much started out in the state of Mississippi when uh, we first just started driving having drivers in and out again because he, he was located in, in Mississippi so um, the first yard is out here we have two shops as well and drivers will Again, just kind of started in, in Mississippi and just driving out into Alabama and certain areas. We kind of do stay in the southeast region. Um, so anywhere from like Texas going over towards Georgia, Florida, the Carolinas, Virginia, West Virginia as well. Um, we'll go into like New Jersey and in Pennsylvania areas. We don't go into New York City. Uh, and then we kind of will make our way back towards Texas now. But in the beginning, I mean, it, it was only pretty much the south, you know probably from Texas over to Florida and, and Georgia. Um, and we've just kind of expanded our routes and, and our accounts and everything that we've acquired. Um, so it's pretty much the basis of, of all of that, um, if that makes sense. <laughs> oh, no, I, I totally understand. Um, so now, if if I may, it, um, let me ask you, is it okay if I share this information on my Facebook group? Oh, um, sure. I mean, if you'd like to, that's perfectly fine. Um, as long as it's nothing negative, of course, just informational. We're perfectly okay with that. Yes, ma'am. Just informational purposes. Yeah, that's perfect. That's fine with us. Okay. Well, uh, my next question. Uh, let's see. What's next on the list? Uh, oh, okay. Number two. Okay. So. Yeah, we'll just go by the numbers. Number <laughs> what are your trucks like? Your, like what kind of what kind of trucks do you have in your fleet? Oh sure. So for our trucks, we have Max, Internationals, and Freightliners. All of our trucks are fairly new, I would say. I mean, I think the oldest goes back into 2016. Uh, they are all automatic. They all have refrigerators, inverters, APUs, and our uh, Sleepers, you know, they have direct TV as well for our drivers. Um, yes, ma'am. <laughs> oh. Okay, then. 
<laughs> I know okay. everyone's always like, what? <laughs> so yes, there is TV in there. I mean, it's nothing fancy, you know, but there is a TV in there for you to watch TV. Oh, I like the way this is going. <laughs> I like where this is going. Um, okay, so your orientation, because I know that you said that you all have um, a fairly new location in DeSoto. You all have one in, in um, around the Dallas area, and yeah. you have one in Mississippi. So um, what's your, like, where's, where is your, like, direct hiring area and your orientation? Which location would that be in? Yes, ma'am. So for orientation, we do conduct the orientation in Clinton. Um, so in Clinton, Mississippi, and we'll typically have all of our drivers taken care of for transportation, um, whether that's, you know, rental cars or um, just depending on their location. We have flown a couple of drivers out as well. So it just kind of depends. Some have taken the bus because they didn't want to drive or, you know, different reasons, different things. But we take care of transportation for our drivers as well as their hotel, as well as food expense, et cetera. So um, just making sure that they're able to get here, we will take care of all of that for them. Um, but yes, it will be held in Clinton. Orientation is typically two days long. Um, typically, we'll start on a Tuesday, go into Wednesday, and by that Wednesday afternoon or by Thursday the latest, you tend to be good to go, put in your own truck, and, you know, on your way with whatever um, route that your dispatch has set for you already. Okay. And since, you know, I live in, well, I'm, I'm, I would say I'm about maybe nine, ten hours. Um I'm not sure where Clinton is. I'm not sure if it's in the middle of Mississippi or towards the northern part of Mississippi. Towards the northern, yes. Okay. So I would say I'm about nine or ten hours away from Mississippi. So what um, do you all normally just hire as far as like where the terminals are, or do you all hire anybody from 48 states? <laughs> we tend to hire where we have freight going in and out of, um, or we have just routes and accounts in those areas, um, if that makes sense. So it tends to depend on whichever routes we have to take, um, which is why we kind of will hire in anywhere the, the southeast region. Um, we are starting to hire now more northeast because we have um, just a few different engineer routes that are coming about there in like the Boston area. Um, so it tends to depend on where we have our freight going in and out of. Okay. So what's your route for um what's your route for Ohio and for Georgia? For Ohio or Georgia? Yes, ma'am. Huh? Because I frequent um I have a house in Ohio as well. So. Okay, awesome. Um, <laughs> so I don't know exactly where. I know it would depend on whichever, like, account that you're taking care of or whatever, um, whatever your dispatch has given to you with when it, with in regards to the loads. Um, so that I'm not 100% sure of, but I know we'll typically stay in those areas. So just kind of ranging anywhere from Texas, Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia, Florida, you know, South Carolina, North Carolina, Tennessee, Kentucky, um, Arkansas, Missouri, Illinois, Indiana, Ohio, uh, West Virginia, Virginia, again, the Pennsylvania, New Jersey is kind of the farthest we'll go up. But we are having, we are hiring in the Boston area just for a couple of drivers for what we have going on there. Um, but I don't know exactly. Again, it just kind of depends on what's needed, what loads are available at the time. Um, but you'll tend to stay in the southeast and uh, might go into the northeast, into like the New Jersey, uh, Pennsylvania area. Um, so that's pretty much where you'd be looking. We don't go far into the West. Um, we have a couple of teams that will have um, some freight going into like New Mexico, Arizona, and California, but uh, we don't tend to go there, you know, as often. And we have a couple of teams that are dedicated to that, if that makes sense. Um, but for the most part, we just kind of stay in that area. Okay. Um, let's see. Now, 
are you all just uh, dry van, reefer, flatbed, or are you just reefer, flatbed, dry van, or just dry van strictly um, no touch or touch freight? Um, yes, 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 yes. We are dry van, no touch, um, mostly drop and hook, and it's Ten, it tends to just be like general fry. It can be anything between like toilet paper, paper towel, to like water, water bottles. Um, we have an account with like Georgia Pacific, and so we tend to have different types of of the, uh, I guess, items. But for the most part, it's all dry van, you know, no touch. So you wouldn't have to worry about that as well. Okay. All right. So what's your home time like? And do you all just have, um, is it like strictly like OCR? I don't know, no, no, because you did say you all had dedicated lanes. Um, so. We have different. Mm -hmm. So we oh, have yeah. local, we do have local drivers. We have regional as well. Um, and then we also have over the road. So it, it does depend. And then we also offer either forced dispatch or non-forced dispatch, depending on you know, it, it does depend on pay, so everything's a little bit different depending on what you choose. Um, so if you want, if you, we had, say you're in Clinton and we had a local position available, uh, we would pay hourly based off of years of experience, um, ranging from like 19 to 21 an hour. If you want to go come in as a regional driver, you would tend to stay in like Texas, Louisiana, Mississippi, Arkansas, Florida, Georgia, Kentucky, Oklahoma areas pretty much like the south areas um and then if you want to go over the road then you'll be looking at what we kind of talked about before you go into the northeast but we kind of stay in the south east anyway um but again with the occasional routes and things into like new jersey and pennsylvania um and then as an over the road driver we do pay differently at as well as like regional and local. So it's just kind of depending on what you're you're doing, you get paid differently. Um, we do pay based off of years of experience. So for over the road, you can get up to 55 cents a mile um, with like eight plus years of experience. Once two years, you're looking at 48 cents a mile. Um, most of our over the road drivers, they're doing around 28 to $3,000 on average week. Um, so, you know, the miles are there and it's consistent. So. Okay. Oh, right. So, um, do you all have, like, as far as like the policy as to where I want to pay my home time, do I have to let you all know a week or two weeks or three weeks in advance or, um, for home time, we, so depending on where you're located, we are typically able to have you home at least once a week. Um, so for the weekend, you know, we'll get you home. We tend to route our drivers home uh, weekly, so for your reset, um, so you tend to be home, you know, for that one and a half days, and then you come back. If you wanted to stay out, which we do have drivers do, if you want to stay out for two, three weeks, then you get one and a half days for each week that you're out. Um, but if you needed any additional days off or you need to request days off, you would just have to give at least a two-week notice so that we can plan in, you know, accordingly for freight and all of that. Okay, so you said just for the 34, or is it for the full two-day weekend? That's one of my clear that up. Yeah, no, no. It would be for the 34 reset. Um, if you were to be home weekly, you'd be home for your reset. And then if you wanted to stay out, you'd be given additional one and a half days for each week that you're out. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Um, let's see. Mm. Now, you're... Uh, do you all have um, do you all have the personal conveyance policy? Yes, we do have uh, a policy for that as well. Okay, can you tell me about that, please? So typically, it's more explained by our safety um, coordinator, like when you come in for orientation. So I don't have the personal, like I don't have the actual info about it, and I don't want to provide any any false information um so i don't know in particular I, i'm again i'm not going to lie to you or tell you anything that i'm not sure of so i don't want to tell you um that i do know because I, I just don't um again that's typically just something that safety kind of goes over um 
So I can ask about that, and I can definitely give you a call back, but I just don't want to provide you any information that's not true or not accurate, I should say. Okay. So now um, I know you said about three terminals, so I know there's no there's no terminal in Georgia. So can I, what I, because I live in Georgia, mm-hmm. and, you know, I have a house in Ohio, but you know, I guess I'll just, you know, be in Georgia most of the time since I'm not sure if I could be guaranteed home up there. Um, can I, tra- would I be able to take the truck home? Or would I have yes. to bring it back to Mississippi and go back home? No, so you wouldn't have to bring it back. Um, if you have somewhere to park it at home, you can. If you needed, you know, if you needed us to kind of find an area close to you to park it, you can also do that as well. So we have, you know, we're pretty flexible when it comes to the parking and where you take the truck and all of that. All righty. Okay. Well, I, I like that as well. Now, <clears throat> your personal convince because I'm, I'm hearing, um, let's get, Back to as far as um, hold on, was that one? Of, I'm sorry, was that one of the questions that we have, have, have handled with safety? I'm sorry. Yes, ma'am. Okay, well we're gonna skip. Okay, skip right by that question. Okay. Um, now do you all have a sign-on bonus by chance? No, ma'am, we do not. Okay. So I know you said that you all would provide transportation to orientation and you all would, you know, if, you know, fly or bus or run a car, however it may be. Now, mm-hmm. when, like, let's say I get started, but you all, how can I say this? Um, with the reimbursement for the rental car, flight, bus, ticket, um, hotel stay, be taken out of the check every week for reimbursement or no? For the reimburse, um, I know for for you to come in for orientation, we take care of everything, so it's not something that you would have to worry about. Um, if you did have to put any uh, gas in for the rental or anything like that, we do reimburse you for any expenses that you may occur, um, you know, that may accumulate through your, your travel. So we will reimburse for your uh just any expenses that you have, uh, as long as you come with the receipts of everything, you know, we can do that. Um, and that's typically provided in your first paycheck with us, but there's nothing that you would have to, you know, take care of. We, we pay for, uh, you know, the, the rental and we take care of the hotel and all of that for you. Okay. And one last question, um, benefits. So we do provide benefits for all of our drivers. We have United Healthcare, um, and it is you are eligible, and it goes into effect after 60 days of employment with us. And so we tend to have all of our drivers fill everything out when they come in for orientation, so that once the 60 days are up, you know everything comes to your your address and comes in the mail for you, and you can get started with that. Um, so we do have United Healthcare. Um, I know we do have different packages, you know, just based off what you're looking for. If you need employee only, employee and family, X, Y, and Z. So we do have those. Um, For dental and vision, it would be principal health. Um, And then for life insurance, we do provide basic life insurance at $15,000 per employee by the employer. If you do want to, you know, enroll in additional or voluntary life insurance that's also available to you as well um, but again it's just 60 days for that to kick in for you and we do have 401k but we do not do matching but we do have a plan if you wanted to enroll in that as well okay um i know that i know i said i'm so sorry i know i said that was the last question i do apologize but <laughs> unfortunately okay. i do have a couple more um Driver, um, driver cameras. Do you all have the, have cameras inside of the truck? That's external and internal, or just external? Or yes, ma'am. So we do have both in and out of um, the trucks, and it's just for insurance purposes. You know, if you were to get into an accident, it's just to recall um, anything to make sure that you're wearing your seatbelt. You know, make sure that you are doing what you're supposed to be doing. So it's really just for insurance. Um, 
I know it's not active unless there is sudden movement or, you know, if you break quickly, that type of thing. Um, it's not activated until something like that happens, but we do have them on. Um, you know, we do have them in the in and out of the trucks for our drivers for insurance. Okay. And do you all have your um, balance and with the, um, what is that, clearinghouse? Um, what what is uh, what is your policy as far as like you know hiring feelings, um requirements that you must have and the um as far as the clearinghouse goes? Right, right. So I know for our qualifications, we do not hire felons. Um, you know, with with the qualifications, you we need at least one year of recent over the road driving experience. Must be at least twenty three years old. Must be able to pass the DOT physical pre employment drug and hair test. Um, must have a valid you know CDL from the state of residence. No more than three moving violations in the last three years. No more than one can be of a mysterious nature. Um, no D DUI or DWI careless or, or reckless driving charges in the previous ten years. Um, we don't allow any DUI or DWI convention, convictions in a commercial vehicle. Um, no major preventable accidents in the last three years and must be able to pass just a road test with us and must meet all FMCSA regulations. Okay. And um, what, uh, what can, I, I, I'm, I'm trying to make sure I'm saying this right. But um, onboarding, what can get you disqualified from that? I mean, I, I guess I'm using the right wording. Yes, 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 yes. So the only reason we wouldn't be able to move forward is if, you know, you were unable to pass either the road test when you come in or just the pre-employment drug or hair test. Okay. So I know I, I, know I had a... Uh, I had a friend, we, I'm just, you know, just throwing a situation at you to see, you know, mm -hmm. about it. I know I had a friend, we grew up together, we lived in the same house for years, um, and we, um, we decided to do trucking together. Now, like I said, we've been, we've literally, like, when she wakes up, I wake up. She goes out, I go out. We're, like, literally joined to the hill. Um... Now, I know we went to different companies to get started, but, and, and this, like I said, this started, um, we did, uh, I want to say, this was right before Clearinghouse. This was right before Clearinghouse. Um, we both, you know, went in for onboarding, as you all would call it. I passed, um, she, well, I was in a different class than her, but we all went, we all, you know, we went to different people, but when I was there, I, I passed. At her company, everybody in her class failed the hair test, except mm -hmm. for one person. And after that, they were found basically negligent because one of the one of the, the driver that did pass ended up having illegal substances and they didn't catch it. Wow. For some how however I don't know but the driver had illegal substances in their hair. The mm -hmm. same um the, the same scissors that were used to cut the hair was cut with everybody else's. So, yeah, so with that, how how would you all handle that? Because, I know, I mean, you know, it's, certain, it's some people where you can kind of say, yeah, that might have been true. They might have been doing something illegal. But it's also people where you definitely know at the bottom of your heart, they did not do that. So how would you all handle that? Yes, 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 yes. So in that in that instance, if we were to have that situation happen, I'm pretty sure we would retest. I mean, we had 
a driver recently um, who wanted to be retested. And so we did. I mean, we don't really, you know, we don't really have any, unless we have a reason to suspect or anything like that, you know. Um, but for the most part, we're pretty flexible. And we, we're understanding, you know, we'll listen to our drivers. If if we had a whole class who did not pass hair test, I'm pretty sure we would want to retest because that's kind of a red flag. <laughs> and if they use the same, it, it makes sense what you're saying. If they use the same scissors with every single person and did not clean them proper and all of that, then all of those things were just passed on to every person. So that to me makes sense. And we would more than likely just retest at that. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, all right. And my, this is, this is the last question. <laughs> what, okay. So <laughs> leasing, You're, do you all offer a leasing program? Yes, ma'am, we do. We use a third party for, for owner, just for lease purchase. Um, if you wanted to learn a little bit more about that, you know, we, I can give you the number so you can call them directly, see if they have, you know, anything available to you for that. But we do have a third party that we use. They are called Transport Enterprise Leasing. Um, everything pretty much goes through them. So you have to place an application with them, you know, make sure that you qualify and all of that. Um, but for us, we, do have owner operators and we will pay owner operators like 75% of all gross revenue for each load that they have. Um, and we do offer insurance and all of that the same way. We tend to take care of their tags, you know, any of any of the initial expenses that come with, you know, registering their vehicle and all of that. We take care of all of that for them. Um, and also take care of like putting the Qualcomm system into their, their trucks so pretty much we get we have everything ready for them to get started and get going by the time uh, they come in and fill out paperwork and are good to go on the road okay and yes ma'am I'll, I'll get i'll take that number okay sure 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 not a problem so it is give me one second i should memorize it by now but i don't have it memorized so it's um it's going to be four two three Okay, four two three. Two one four. Okay, two one four. Four zero three four. Four zero three four. Okay, yes, I really appreciate that, ma'am. And that's all the questions that I have. I'm gonna go ahead and you know do my like I said, I'm I'm doing my research, and mm -hmm. I once I narrow it all down, I will. Probably more than likely to be giving you all a call back. Okay, sounds perfectly okay. I hope I answered any questions that you have. If anything else comes up, feel free to reach back out to me. Um, you know, you can just give us a call back and we'll be happy to answer any questions, uh, any additional questions you may have. But um, once you get talking with Tell, if, you know, everything sounds good and you wanted to kind of move forward, you would just have to kind of let us know too. So, um, me posted if you do decide to do that um, just because we're not exactly in the loop with them so if um, you do decide to go that route just keep me updated as well so that I know and we can get everything situated and going for that um, but I definitely appreciate you just giving us a call and, and finding out a little bit about us and hopefully we hear from you again um, and we, you know, we can get your application in and go from there. If uh, you do need anything or have any questions that come up, feel free to reach back out to us. All right, I will. Okay, thank you so much, Ashley. It was a pleasure speaking with you. I hope you have a great day. Have a good weekend. All right, you too. All okay. right. <clears throat> Golf Relay. So, um, what do you throughout that whole conversation that you had with her? What uh, what, what what did you think? Uh, what, what, what did I you mean, think? she was more pleasant. She was more pleasant than the first lady. I would say. <clears throat> I mean, first you know, lady. She, it, first, just, what first lady? Yeah. She was. She was more pleasant than, like, because I've called I've called them before. Oh, you call! Oh, you called golf relay before. How 
how did that go? How how did that how how did that go? How did the first time you call him versus now that you that that you talk to him? Like I said, this lady, she was more pleasant to talk to. I enjoyed her energy. The first lady, she basically, mm, she seemed as though she was, she had maybe woke up on the wrong side of the bed or maybe, you know, she was irritated about by my question. Mm-hmm. She, like, maybe 15 minutes, maybe 10, 10, 15 minutes until the call, <clears throat> Excuse me. She kind of started, you know, trying to rush me off the phone. So. Mm. You know, that's 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 the that's some of the issues that some that some that some potential drivers face because, like, with a recruiter, what they what they they jo- what, what they want to do is just hurry up and just get you to get just get you to say yes. The fact she also kept referring me to the. Um, to the, so website. the website to fill out yeah. an application. Yeah, and, yeah. You know, and if I have any more questions, right? And fill I, out the application. I'm, okay. I'm like, you know, when, when, when they start, when they start saying that, that means, you know, they, they, they pretty much their, their attention is not on it no more because now they only know that you're this there just to see what they have to offer. You have questions and all like that. And like I said, recruiters want to hurry up and get that yes out of you. Yes, I will come into orientation. Yes, I am on my way. Oh, okay, well, here's the setup, you know, fill out the application, yada, yada, yada. But then if if they don't get that yes out of you, then they'll be like, okay, well, just go to the website and everything on the website will tell you what you need to know. But not everything is on the website you know like how much like how much is uh, how much am i going to get paid i'm a uh, uh, you're a four-year driver i'm a six-year driver how much am i going to get paid am i going to get paid 50 cent more than 50 cent less than 50 cent that's not on the website you know so when when recruiters turn around and be like oh okay well we we want um we want you to go to the website and then after the website, fill out the application. And then after you fill out the application, then we can talk because they got, they got everything that they want, but not everything that you want. You see what I'm saying? Before, before I fill out the application, I want to know, I what, the know co- what I'm getting myself into. into. Exactly. Before I waste my time and, you know, do the application, do all of this, and then next thing I know, like, I, I put in all of this time. You all have did this, ran background check, paid for all of that. Right. When, you know, you could have just told me this, what that, you and the all third. requirements were. Mm-hmm. So I wouldn't have wasted your time, and you wouldn't have spent that money getting back, um, background checks and all of that, putting them back and PSPs and MPRs yeah, and, then, and all and that. Also, and all also that. while they were in, while, while they doing that, they send in information to your current company as well. You know, so your current company will be like, well, what you doing? I thought you, I thought you like it here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know, I ended up getting disqualified from the job because of that. Right, you know they'll they'll call they, you know they send out information to your current company and they'll call you up and they'll be like, "Hey, uh, lockout, are you uh, are you planning on leaving?" And I'd be like, "No, oh okay, well just kind of wondering because you know we got we got several companies over here inquiring about you and all like that." And I'd be like, "Oh okay, I I see what's up." So. Yeah, you know, just to be, you know, just to be yeah. on a on a cordial, yeah, di- right. So, that. right. So to be on a cordial side when you talk to a recruiter and they be like, oh, okay, well, you know, uh, what's your name, last name, and all that good stuff. Well, you know, I, my, I think my first, I, I think, uh, uh, first name basis will be suffice right now because right now I'm just, you know, I'm just, you know, trying to get some information as far as what you guys can offer and all like that. And then I'll, when I do fill out the application, 
then you'll get all the you know all the information to go. So golf relay. Um, again, uh, golf relay. They're located. They got two locations. I think they got three. Then she's. Yeah, they have. They have um, one in Clinton. That's their main one. They have one in um, in the Dallas area, and they also have one in DeSoto, Texas. Okay, okay, okay. So Mississippi and Texas. So if you guys are interested in getting with Golf Relay and learning a little bit more, their website is golfrelay.com. Uh, their contact number is 833-288-4853. Um, again, uh, your conversation with, uh, with this particular recruiter, you, 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 you think she answered all the, all, was able to answer all the questions you had for her? Yes, she did. Okay. Okay. Uh, Wolf that. No, even though she couldn't tell me about PC, but. Right. You know, that's fine. But with that said, you know, the first recruiter, you know, that that was a wash, but would you consider if if you was looking, you know, if you if you was interested in getting with this company, would based on the information that she gave you and the and the conversation that y'all had back and forth, would you consider putting in an application with a uh, golf relay? I definitely would. Okay, Golf Relay, Clinton, Mississippi. Uh, they got some nice trucks. They look like they got more than more than um more than what they got in their fleet. Uh, I noticed that they got Internationals, they got Max, they got Cascadias. So did uh, did did and they're all automatic, but uh, they don't have a sign on bonus. Oh, they don't have a sign on bonus. Well. You know that's that that's kind of cool. I I kind of tend to think that companies with that don't have a sign on bonus, they have a low turnover rate. I really do believe that. Companies with companies, well, I I do believe that. I do believe that. You know, companies with a low sign on bonus, I mean with no little or to no sign on bonus, their turnover rate is is very low versus companies that's offering sign on bonus like five thousand, ten thousand, uh twenty thousand or whatever, whatever. Yeah, that you know, they turnover rate is kinda you know, so but well, lot- my thing is it's crazy because if you're gonna sit and wait two, mm-hmm. six, eight years for that sign on bonus, why not say? I mean you especially if you're waiting a year that complete sign on bonus. Mm-hmm. You may well you you may quadruple over the amount of the sign on bonus. Mm-hmm. So why would you even want to leave? Like that's just crazy. Well, you know what? I don't. I, I I particularly like companies that if they do give sign on bonuses, I I'd rather have my sign on bonus within that within that. Do it this way. The first ninety days. They get they get they you know if it's a thousand dollars or whatever whatever, you know they get five hundred two fifty two fifty. Or just get or just give the sign on bonus outright within a couple of weeks, yeah, instead of just spreading it out throughout the year and all like that. You know it, it's gonna be taxed. I mean when I was with U.S. Express getting my reimbursement, they was giving me a hundred a uh, hundred and fifty dollars a month taxed so it wasn't even 150 dollars it was like maybe like 115 120 you know so why 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 are you doing that it, what, what is the point in all of that so yeah sign on bonus all right y'all that's going to do it for this episode of the m TC on the Lockout Men podcast show. Shout out to Golf Relay so they can give us, uh, they gave us, you know, the good information. Hopefully the information will work out for you. Give them a call again at 833-288-4853. Shout out to my co-host Cambria as always. Thank you very much. Hey y'all. Hey y'all. And Harris, that's K R A L D R I A 
Harris, no space. Look your girl up. Like I said, your number one skinny coffee dealer. Skinny brew. Skinny <laughs> so brew. That's what's up. That's what's up. Uh, if you guys like content like this or more, to always uh, like, subscribe, comment, share, uh, hit that bell and that all button. Uh, we're always looking for 100 likes to let YouTube know that you like content like this, and we're going to continue to bring it to you. Thank you to Cambria for uh, jumping on and being uh, being a good sport and being uh, being my co-host and all like that. Uh, you guys know Cambria from before. She uh, she came in. And she did the uh, she talked with us uh, a while back, and she been you know she's also a good friend of the show. So thank you very much. If you got hey, if you guys like this type of dynamics between me and Cambria and to make the calls, let us know in the comments below. If you guys have any questions that you want us to ask uh, these recruiters, leave it in the comments below. And if you want to suggest uh, who to call next, leave that in the comments below. If you want to get a shout out uh, for making the suggestion, support the call with some coffee, man. Support the call with some coffee. Ha uh, dollar sign, lockout men. Y'all y'all know what to do. All right, until next time. And dollar sign, uh, Breezy9025. That's Breezy. B R E E Z Y 9025. Hit your girl up if you're liking this content, honey. <laughs> I, I was like, I don't need the coffee, but, you know. Any little bit helps. You, know, you, say, you, know you, you, say, you say any bit, it, it, anything helps, huh? All right, we want to get on up out of here, man. We can't make this content too damn long. All right, we're gone, everybody. Y'all take it easy, and we'll come back at you with another one. Peace.